Hello and welcome to the next cocktail tutorial from NJAC Event Bars. My name is Josh, I'm one of the directors and the head mixologist here. Thanks for watching today and thank you for those that have come over from previous videos as well. All of those are available in full on our YouTube channel, NJAC Event Bars. You can also see previews on IGTV and also on Facebook. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Gimlet, an incredibly simple drink. If you just look at the ingredients here, very, very small list, very simple, but fantastic in taste. The Gimlet is absolutely covered with history. In fact, for those who work in the cocktail industry or are just avid followers of it, believe that it is actually history itself. Many believe it's the first ever cocktail or at least the first ever gin cocktail. So the drink itself, as you can see, very simple in ingredients and very simple in taste, but it is absolutely full of impact. It's a beautiful citrus gin cocktail. So for those of you that watched our classic daiquiri tutorial, which I strongly suggest you do, you'll notice this story is quite familiar. So if we look back into the 1800s, the Navy was often prescribed to have a citrus fruit, often lime, because it helps to prevent scurvy. They would also have an abundance of alcohol. In fact, they were even instructed a mandatory amount of alcohol that they had to drink every day. And that would depend on the port that they were leaving from and the alcohol they could get hold of. So in case of when they were leaving the UK, they would have gin, the most popular spirit at the time, or for some people, the only spirit at the time. And when they would leave that port, they would then start drinking their gin and they'd perhaps be biting into lemons or limes. And then perhaps it would just be easier to mix that together. And that really is where the gimlet has come from because we've got lemon and lime and gin and it really is that simple. But the really fascinating thing about the gimlet is when these Navy men were being prescribed to have the lime, they realized after a certain amount of time, of course the limes were going off and they wouldn't be able to have those anymore. And they'd have to rely on the next ports to be able to get hold of lime. And that was a bit of a risk. And there was a chap with the surname of Rose who created a concentrated format of lime. And you might recognize the name Rose's Cordial. That's where that cordial has come from, right back in the 1800s to create a preserved lime juice. So the original gimlet, although it wouldn't have been seen as a cocktail at the time, but the original combination was just that lime cordial and gin. Now the reason that lemons come into this, there's one of two reasons here. It's either just for taste, it just tastes a little bit more balanced having the lemon and the lime, but it's possibly also because as you travel around the world, you'll find many countries who don't have lemon and lime, they just have citrus fruit. So it's the two combined together. And that's where I personally think that this drink has come from and the daiquiri would have been very, very similar to that as well. So a drink completely covered with history, but actually very, very simple to make and has really stood the test of time.
that's just that beautiful sweet and sour combination again and you've got those floral aromatic notes coming through using the fantastic bp to 24 today which really is strong on those floral notes comes through this cocktail so so beautifully just a fantastic cocktail that stood the test of time I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it some love. Also hit that subscribe button and also the little bell. That means you'll get a notification every single time we release a new video and you can be one of the first to see it. Please comment down below with any questions you might have about the gimlet or bartending in general and any future requests you have for the next videos. Until then, stay safe.